I'm Vicky and today I'm going to show you how I do lace appliques. If you know my work you'll know that I do a lot of really elaborate dresses and corsets and I use lace appliques a lot in my work. So to do appliques for yourself you will need some lace fabric. If you're looking for fabric that you're going to cut the lace patterns from make sure you get something that's on a tulle backing so when you cut the patterns out it's not going to fray. Or you will need some ready-made lace appliques like this one. And this method also works for rhinestone appliques or it works really well for those gorgeous embroidered rose patches that I've been using a lot recently. You'll also need some pins, a needle and thread. I tend to use a thread that's the same colour as the lace or the applique if I'm sewing it onto a similar colour backing. If the lace is multicoloured or if it's a very different contrasting colour that I'm sewing it onto, I'll use a clear thread. You'll also need some embroidery scissors. These ones are really pointy and really sharp. If you're using lace fabric and want to use it as a plique, so the first thing you'll need to do is take your little embroidery scissors and cut the lace shapes out from the lace fabric. So to do this, cut really close without cutting through the lace and just cut away the backing until you're left with the shapes that you want to use. This fabric is a corded Chantilly lace. And the other fabric here is a corded beaded Alençon lace and you can see this panel comes with amazing shapes in it that you can cut out and then sort of jigsaw back together to create your appliques. So here's my lace appliques that I've cut out from those two pieces of fabric and now I'm going to start putting them onto this. This is just a bit of scrap fabric so I can show you how I do it. So take your garment and then take your appliques and the first thing I'm going to do is show you how to get an edging piece that's straight around a curve. So say this is the edge of a neckline and you want that scalloped edge to sit round there. If you just curve it like that, it's going to end up doing this. So what you need to do is to start pinning it in place. And then when, where you want it to curve, you need to just cut between some of the shapes so you can spread it apart. So I'm just going to cut up there and then you can see I can open this part up and it gives me a much smoother edge along the curve of my neckline and then we can add another piece of lace in there to hide that if we want to so again here it needs to open so I'm going to cut along next to this flower if you've got beaded lace like this be careful you don't snip through the threads that are holding the beads in place or hand sew the beads into place either side before you cut through so I've got one little thread on the back there so I'm not going to cut down as far as that so that my beads are still firmly attached and again I can open that up and create the edging coming off the edge of the garment like that and once that's sewn on that's going to sit a lot flatter you can also use the edges of the lace pieces to come off the edge and create patterns as well so once you've got it all cut out you can start popping it back on and working out whether you want it to fill it solidly you can overlay stuff so I'm just going to lift this part up over there like that and once you start overlapping and sitting it near each other it starts to look like a whole piece again and if you want some of the underneath to show here I could cut that bit off and really show those beads under there so it's a case of pinning and playing and cutting and trimming until you're happy with how it's all sitting and I think I'm just going to put a little bit of this lace you can mix different laces too so I'm going to put a little bit of that lace coming out from underneath here or you can just scatter your appliques and have them not solid. So we could just put a loose one there. Or we could use a pair here and create a mirrored effect. So these ones are a mirrored pair. So they could go on like that. I often use these beaded ones to create a really solid look. So I take the pieces like this and then I'll just start playing and see how they go together to create this solid lace effect like this so that one fits really nicely there and you can see how we start to build it up and then maybe we'll pop the the final one underneath as well like that and create that kind of effect let's imagine now that this is the edge of a shoulder or a sleeve and you want the lace coming off the edge you can create little capped sleeves with the lace by stitching it on and then taking it off the edge of whatever you're sewing it onto and if you put it on whoever's going to be wearing it or put it on your mannequin you can actually overlap this and start creating curves and shoulder shapes with it 
there's all sorts of things you can do with lace it's really versatile it's really pretty this lace I use a lot it's already got lots of beads and crystals on but I often add even more beads and crystals to it to add even more sparkle so I showed you how to get the lace around the curve this way to get it to go this way you do exactly the same thing you cut into it and instead of spreading it you overlap it and that will create the curve going that way you can take a piece of lace that's sort of the right shape and you can trim and cut into it so if we take this one and sort of line it up there it's starting to look right and again because we're on the tool and it's not going to fray we can cut off this part to get it to be the shape we want just cut along the edge of the corded parts here and that can go back on somewhere else and you can see to go around the curve I need to cut it here I'm going to cut along the edge of those two flowers and then I'm going to overlap that back on itself to get it to sit along the edge where I want it to sit to get it to curve here I'm going to need to do the same again so this time I'm going to cut all the way down here and then I'm going to do the same I'm going to lift that and overlap it so it sits along the edge where I want it to sit and then as I sew it on I'll hand stitch that overlap down so that's taken a piece that was the wrong shape and it's made it the right shape for this curve and then that little bit that I cut off I'm just going to slide in under here somewhere and fill that gap I'm going to put the beaded one on top and then pin that one into place as well you can use these ex excess bits on top to create layers too and you can work with these sort of appliques exactly the same you can cut between these parts if you want to curve and bend anything once everything's pinned on and you're happy with how it's looking it's time to sew it into place so take a length of thread and thread your needle so I've got my got my thread with a knot in the end and then I often sew on garments where I can't get inside them to sew the appliques on or on corsets where I don't want the knots and the threads showing on the inside so what I do to start it is I take my needle and I put it underneath and I'll bring it up just away from the edge of the lace and pull it through and that means my knot is hidden in underneath and it's not going to show on the inside of my garment if you can get inside then start from the inside that's fine but if you can't or, and you want to hide your threads on the outside this is how you do it so then I start by just going in and out some people do a chain stitch to hold a pliques on but I've never found it necessary so whatever works for you so I come up through the lace then go down through the fabric and back up through the lace where I want the next stitch to be down through the fabric and up through the lace down through the fabric and I'm being careful to only go through one layer of fabric here so it's not going to show on the inside down through the fabric up through the lace and just keep repeating this until all of your lace is sewn on to finish it off and to hide the knot I tend to tie it underneath a bead or a sequin or underneath the edge if it's not beaded lace so I put the needle in tie the knot and then I put the needle back in and pull the thread through and that pulls the knot underneath and it's like neatly hidden under that sequin now and you'll never notice and here's what it looks like once it's all sewn on I love these two laces together the beaded lace over the plain lace and I love using lace over a slightly different color so it really shows up the pattern and the design as well but it works just as well if you match the fabric underneath it's still super pretty so I hope you enjoyed this tutorial I hope that you're keen to go and find some lace and cut it out and sew it onto things now it's a great way to embellish something that you already own and to change it up Please subscribe if you haven't already and make sure you click the little bell so that you get notified when I upload a new video and I will be back very soon.